top administration officials coordinated with Hillary Clinton early in her presidential campaign in response to stories about her private email server. This, according to the Wall Street Journal. The damage control, which includes close contact with the State Department early last year, was revealed in emails obtained by the Republican National Committee. One of the exchanges included a request by former White House Communications Director Jennifer Palmieri to the State Department, asking if Secretary of State John Kerry could be shielded from answering any questions concerning the email scandal. An expert on ethics tells the journal that no laws were broken, while adding that emails still highlight the revolving door between the administration mm -hmm. and officials in the Clinton campaign in its early stages. So, Dan, tell me, apparently no laws were broken. Why is this significant? Uh, why should the American people care about this story? Because it tells us something about the nature of uh, any impending Clinton presidency, I would say. I mean, we went through this back during the presidency of Bill Clinton. I mean, it was one of the most volatile, litigious presidencies ever. And it wasn't just the women, but it was Whitewater, and it was all of the other issues like that. And the question was, were the Clintons putting the federal bureaucracy and the Justice Department in the service of their own personal interest? And the issue then was obstruction of justice. And with the state State Department is doing here it looks very much like obstruction of justice. And it isn't just the RNC that's being seeking these emails. At least two federal judges have ordered the State Department to release those emails. And yet the State Department is acting like a uh, wing of the uh, Hillary Clinton election campaign. Melissa, what other media are covering this story? I know I was here in the studio all morning. Fox is covering it. Do you think this yeah. is going to have legs? Is it going to make a difference in this election? No, it's not. I mean, I, I, I do think it will make a difference in the election because I do think it has been a drumbeat throughout. And it does remind you of sort of that cloud of corruption that just surrounds the Clintons at all times. And it reminds you that, kind of sick of that. Do we really want to go through that again? And that's why this is a change election. At the same time, to the first part of your question, I don't think it's getting a lot of coverage because, frankly, you know, it's difficult to parse. You know, when you go through and you're like, yeah. well, what were yeah. they supposed to be doing? Doing. It's hard to put it into a nutshell and say exactly what about it is wrong. And some people say, well, it's not illegal, so who cares? Because it's that continual drumbeat of corruption where they only care about themselves and they couldn't care less about any of you and out there. And then you see the people that were involved then carried into now with the Clinton campaign for presidency. Because when talking about Jen Palmieri, uh, we're talking about how she was involved then. She's currently Hillary Clinton's communications director for her mm -hmm. campaign. Well, how about Cheryl Mills? I mean, she exactly. was Hillary's yeah. lawyer and chief of staff back in the 1990s. It's yep. the same group of people. And the irony is that the Obama presidency in 2008 defeated the Clinton machine. The progressives finally thought they had put the Clinton machine yep, behind so them. True. And now they're all <laughs> so coming true. back together. You know, when you said the words, Dan, volatility and litigious about the Clinton years, um, it's one thing to say, can we go that, through that again? It's another to say, can we survive that as a nation not being focused on the issues that continue to divide us. I mean, can we really survive that sort of attention away from the things that matter? I think it's, it's an excellent question because it has had such a corrosive effect on people's attitudes towards government. And I think that is in large part why so many voters are looking for a reason not to vote for Hillary Clinton. is because they have the sense that it's going to go back to the same old kind of insider mm. dealing that they have felt in the past. And if Donald Trump would just give them some good reason I not to vote for her, just I think say, it could happen. That sounds like you gave him a talking point. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And the media. Because Kerry, by the way, did not get asked that question in the interview that was in, in question. So a, a collusion with the media as well. Yeah.